Welcome to Around the Bend, a model railroading experience that you won't soon forget. The NMRA Midwest Region 2024 Convention is hosted by the Michiana Division and sponsored by Visit South Bend Mishawaka. Open to NMRA members and the public, the venue along the St. Joseph River offers scenic views and a central location in downtown South Bend, Indiana. Michiana is an area rich in railroad history. Over 20 railroads have operated here over time. Round the Bend offers 30 rail-related and 5 steel mill-related clinics, 11 layout tours, 6 operating sessions and 3 prototype tours. We also have a display and workshop room for attendees to showcase their work and to learn new skills. Many non-rail activities are showcasing the region's wide-ranging attractions. Convenient hotels like Doubletree and Courtyard are offering bargain accommodations. Around the Bend is being held at the Century Center, the area's premier convention venue. Century Center is located at 120 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in South Bend, Indiana. The setting is park-like along the St. Joseph River with a rapids, waterfall and island for outdoor enjoyment. Parking is only $5 per day, and nearby city parking garages offer free parking on the weekends. Over 10 hotels and many restaurants are located within a few minutes walk or drive from Century Center. The convention schedule begins on Thursday, May 2nd, with setup and early check-in from 1 o'clock to 6 p.m. The evening offers layout tours and an operating session. Friday, May 3rd is a full day of activities beginning at 8 a.m. Rail and steel mill clinics run throughout the morning and afternoon. A Norfolk Southern Yard tour will leave Century Center by bus and return after the two-hour tour. Layout tours and operating sessions are also scheduled for the afternoon and evening to round out the day. The Saturday, May 4th activities begin at 8 a.m. with 15 rail clinics throughout the morning and afternoon. A West Michigan Railroad tour leaves Century Center by bus and a South Shore Shops tour originates at the South Bend Airport for a train ride to Michigan City, returning on a later train that day. Train fares are paid at the rail depots. Layout tours and operating sessions are scheduled for the afternoon and evening to complete the convention experience. Around the Bend clinics are arriving on four tracks. The introductory track takes place in the New York Central Room, and features content aimed at new modelers, or those looking to gain new skills. The Michiana Railroads track in the South Shore Room provides detailed information about area railroads, old and new, for those looking to enhance their knowledge and skills. The mainline track in the Grand Trunk Room offers clinics on a variety of rail-related subjects and the steel mill track in the U.S. Steel Room presents content about steel mills and how to model them. The New Jersey, Indiana and Illinois Room will showcase portable layouts from around the area. There will be 1Z scale, 1N scale, and 4HO scale layouts available for watching and running trains. One of the HO layouts is a challenging switching puzzle. 11 Round the Bend layout tours are sure to provide every modeler with lots of new ideas. Jerry's Pennsylvania Horseshoe Curve is a very large, Pennsylvania railroad in HO scale that is beautifully done. It's about 90% scenic and models the transition era featuring a long four-track mainline run and limited operation. Highlights are Horseshoe Curve and a large, detailed steel mill. Henry Arndt's beautifully scenic, Freelanced HO scale layout features the Union Pacific Railroad in the Blue Mountains and Sherman Hill and includes Union Pacific diesel locomotives, a turbine, and some New York Central steam as well. Dan's Michiana Southern is an under construction HO layout depicting the Norfolk Southern Railroad between Elkhart and Burns Harbor, Indiana, in the summer of 2009. The railroad features NCE, DCC control via wireless and Wi Fi throttles. Dan is adding layout command control and touch devices to control turnouts during his build as well. Greg's Uncle Heavy's Ore Lines is another under construction HO scale layout modeling CNW in northeastern Wisconsin, circa 1980, and designed for operation. John Nye's very large, freelanced HO scale layout features tall mountains, harbors, lots of running, and nicely detailed scenes. An operating scheme is being developed.
Rich Trowbridge's Trenton and Western is a freelance under construction O scale layout inspired by the Grand Trunk Western in South Bend, Indiana. Tom Zurich's very large freelanced and professionally developed HO layout is loosely based on the Santa Fe Transcon from Chicago to Los Angeles. The front part of the layout, 30 feet by 60 feet, is essentially complete and signaled. The rear part of the same size is under construction and an operation scheme is being developed. Bob Olson's freelanced O-scale trolley layout uses working overhead wire and takes you back to large cities in the 20s era. He scratch built this interesting layout including the buildings, interurban and trolley cars using ordinary available materials. The layout provides a unique window into the development of model railroading over the past 70 plus years. The Duneland Model Railroad Club of Michigan City, Indiana features a freelanced HO scale layout. They encourage interested model railroaders to stop by on Tuesday evenings between 7 and 9 p.m. Look them up on Facebook to learn more. The Elkhart Model Railroad Club was chartered on April 11, 1950 and features freelanced N and HO scale layouts. The club is comprised of model railroad enthusiasts who meet every Friday evening in Elkhart, Indiana. The club is open from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. To find out more go to www.emrrc.com. The Cass County Rail Club features a freelanced HO scale layout and with a detailed harbor and station scene from St. Joseph, Michigan. They welcome interested model railroaders most Monday nights at 7 p.m. to their Dowajak, Michigan clubhouse. The Round the Bend Convention offers rail tours to the Norfolk Southern Elkhart Yard, the West Michigan Railroad, and the South Shore Shops. Norfolk Southern's Robert Young Yard is a very busy place. With over 74 trains and movement of approximately 3,200 cars daily, it is one of the few large hump yards still operating in the eastern United States. Our tour of the Elkhart Yard lasts two hours and is limited to 15 people. The West Michigan Railroad is an approximately 5-mile standard gauge branch line of the former Pear Marquette Railway operating east from Hartford, Michigan serving the hazardous materials biodiesel and agriculture industries. Our two-hour tour will view the operation and will be limited to 15 people. The South Shore Line is a commuter rail line operated by the Northern Indiana Commuter Transportation District between Millennium Station in downtown Chicago and the South Bend International Airport in South Bend, Indiana. More than 1 million passengers ride commuter trains from South Bend to Chicago annually from any of 19 stops along the way, and trains run every day of the week. The South Shore Maintenance Facility in Michigan City houses both their end-of-life and new shops. Our tour will leave from the South Shore Station at the South Bend Airport and travel to Michigan City for a tour of their facility before returning to South Bend on a later train. The Round the Bend Convention offers operating sessions on five of the area's well-known model railroads in both N and HO scale. Allen Black's EL Territory is a freelance HO scale layout based on the Erie Lackawanna between Gary, Indiana and Marion, Ohio. It features several towns served by mainline trains and lots of local switching. Bob Blake's Proto Freelanced, HO Scale Blackhawk Lines is jointly owned by the Illinois Central and Chicago and Northwestern Railroads. It operates across northern Illinois and Iowa from Chicago to the Missouri River cities of Omaha, Sioux City and Sioux Falls. It's based on the former Illinois Central Iowa Division in the early 90s. John Hansky's freelanced HO scale Burlington Southern runs from Dunsmuir, California to Portland, Oregon, and Spokane, Washington. The BS is co-owned by the Burlington Northern and the Southern Pacific Railroads. Chuck Hart's Pacific Central and Eastern is a freelanced N-scale prototype Class 1 railroad with a division point located in the western mountains of Utah in the late 60s to early 70s. The PCE interchanges with the Duck Lake and Bear Canyon Railway shortline whose primary business is mining. Brian Preston's Tacoma Bay is a freelance N-scale layout modeling the BNSF and Union Pacific around Tacoma, Washington, circa 1998. The layout features several switching zones around Tacoma and through traffic between Portland and Seattle.
Our display and workshops room is where modelers can showcase their modeling accomplishments and increase their knowledge and skills. Talented modelers Rod Thompson and Ron Christensen MMR will be on hand along with other skilled workshop volunteers. Our non-rail offerings provide an opportunity for attendees and their guests to experience all that Michiana has to offer. South Bend's First Fridays provide the downtown area with live music and food offerings from 5 to 9 p.m. Tour the University of Notre Dame campus with its art museum, basilica, and the grotto. Start at the Visitor Center for a 30-minute video all about ND. The Studebaker National Museum, Potawatomi Zoo, the Fernwood Botanical Gardens, and South Bend Chocolate Factory tours are visitor favorites. Amish country, including Napanee, Middlebury and Shipshawana are close by as well. The Project Linus Charity will be making blankets in the Century Center. Sewers bring your sewing machines. Early registration for Round the Bend is one way to save and beat the rush. We offer single day and full fares. Those who sign up as a convention volunteer for two hours or more receive a 20% discount, paid at the registration table when checking in. We've arranged for blocks of rooms at the Doubletree and Courtyard hotels offered at special rates. The room blocks are only open for a short time so book your rooms early using the preferred link on our website. You can't get any closer to Round the Bend than across the street. There you have it. Round the Bend is a real bargain in model railroading for a whole weekend of fun, friends and learning. Register for Round the Bend today to get your model railroad hobby on track.